Hi guys, it's me and Finley, and I've decided that I'm going to do my dyslexia awareness video. Um, if you don't want to watch it, then obviously you don't have to. Um, but yeah, so I am dyslexic. I have known since year seven, so that is four years now. Um, it is tough being dyslexic, and yeah, I'll try and give you all the information that I have myself and how I have coped. But obviously, I've not had it. I've not known I've had it for a little while, for that long. So I don't know everything about dyslexia. Okay, so um, dyslexia is where you struggle to read and write, um, and yeah. So I struggle to read, write, and spell. Or I don't struggle to write. I struggle to read and spell properly. Um, when I read a book the words are all like jumbled up like you can I'll read a word on one page and then it'll be on the next page and I won't know what it is because I just my brain just doesn't connect with what I'm reading um so yeah that's a struggle as well because I get frustrated with myself also um my spelling is not brilliant at all um my reading age is I think my mum said my reading age is 13 years and 6 week, six months and my spelling age is 10 years and 9 months. That's my spelling age and my reading age is 13 years and I'm 15. So yeah, I'm not very good at reading at all. Um, I have a yellow overlay which is just a yellow piece of plastic that I put over like something that I'm reading at school to help me read better. So yeah, that's what I have. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna explain to you like how I found out I'm dyslexic and like how I've coped with it and stuff. So my mum works with dyslexic and autistic children at school, at my school, and she noticed when I was in year five that there was something not right, and I was, I had the same traits as someone with dyslexia. Um. So she spoke to my school. Her and my dad had a meeting with my head teacher at my primary school and said look we think Rhea might be dyslexic and they said oh no she's not she's lazy she's just been lazy when she reads and she spells and stuff like that obviously that's not the case because I'm not um so that like really annoyed my mum my dad so then in year six when I had my sats they requested that I have an occasional reader so I did I was put into a different room with every from everybody else with a couple of other people that struggled with reading and spelling and I had a reader for my SATs. Um, that was all alright. Then when I got into year, uh, year 7 I was there for two weeks and my I was there for a week and my friend she got she was quite like scared about going into the canteen to have lunch and stuff like that so we used to go into a little room with a couple of other people that didn't really go into the canteen for their lunch and have our lunch in there. Um, one Friday my the second week I was there, my mum on a Friday goes was in the support room that we had our lunch and she said to me, I'm going to get you tested for dyslexia. So I said, yeah, that's fine. Um, so last lesson on the Friday, I went with my mum's boss and I did a dyslexia test um, and it came back positive and it came back with, um, I have middle dyslexia. So I'm not like so dyslexic that I can't read, but I'm dyslexic enough that I struggle. Um, so that was like a really big shock, I was quite upset. I was put down into like all the lower classes and stuff and I got given, got taken out of languages and put from languages into an extra English and maths class because my dyslexia struggle helped, um, also caused me to struggle with my maths. Um, and that's another type of dyslexia, it's called dyscalculate, but I'm not dyscalculate. It's really rare to get in girls. Um, so I was taken out of maths and English, uh, from science, uh, languages and, and put into my English class. So then that's helped me. Um, and then when I have my like exams and stuff, I've had an occasional reader. And um, also, I get given um, like help in my English classes as well. My teacher will obviously like give me a sheet with words that we're going to use in the lesson. And like what they mean and things like that. So that's really good that I have all that support and stuff. My dyslexia is obviously has put a strain on my learning. 
a lot because when I was picking my exam, like my GCSEs, it meant that I couldn't pick languages because I hadn't done it since year seven. So that was quite an upsetting thing because now I have to do resistant materials. And I really don't like it because I'm the only girl. Well, there's me and this other girl and yeah, it's not a very nice class to be in. So obviously that's like put a strain on me that I fact, the fact that it is that I can't do languages. So that's upset me as so well. It's also put a strain on like what I want to do. I want to be a midwife and it's just going to take me a long, long time to get there. Me and my friend worked out to be about 10 to 11 years since until I can be a midwife because um, the course that I'm doing at college, we're going to be doing at college, is a level two, so that's only one year, and then I go on to do the level three, which is two years, so that's three years. Then I would go to university to train to be, to train to be a nurse and that's another three years that's six years and then I have to be a mid I have to be a nurse for a year and then I can qualify do my midwifery training which is another three years and then I have to and then obviously I'll be a midwife but yeah so it's obviously going to take me a while to get there um so that's that I have a lot of support from my family my mum and my dad are very supportive of me and they help me with everything my revision and things like that for my exams I still have an occasional reader um, but yeah, I'm doing quite well at school at the moment. I'm predicted B's for my um, resident materials, which is good. Uh, for English, I've been putting for the higher paper for my English. And so I'm just doing quite well at school at the moment because I've got all the support that I need and things like that. So yeah, that's basically how my journey with dyslexia has come about. Also, like, obviously having Finley, Owen and Riley, that's helped me a lot as well. But yeah, so I hope you guys like understand about this. If you have any questions at all, just PM me or comment down below and I'll be happy to answer them as well. Um, so yeah, if you guys watch this, then I'm thank I thank you very much for watching it. But yeah, if you didn't, then that's fine. So comment, subscribe and request. Bye guys.